Okay. <laughs> I told Crotzy that I would apparently fix the problem, but trying to fix it by changing the overworld made it broken beyond repair. So, I, I decided to move two other levels behind so that I could actually play them. I'm going to make myself big first. I move the castle over to Valley of Bowser 2, and I move the level after to Star World 2. Or, supposedly. I see what to do here. As something from the original game, I really should have known a long time ago. I never actually knew that. Here's something based off of Lemmy's castle. <coughs> uh oh. Jeez. That's harsh. This isn't, thankfully. And hopefully. Anyway, this is just to tell Crotty that uh, if he's going to want to make this playable, I can't actually fix it myself. He's going to have to do it himself. If I try to do it myself, the background becomes horribly glitchy. And I'm not willing to take that risk on a hack like this. If it was my own hack, I would say yeah, because I'd be the one respo entirely responsible for it. But I'm not going to compromise another hack. The only thing to compromise here is sanity. And ammunition. <clears throat> Maybe not ammunition. The bullets don't sink all the way into the lava. And I'm willing to say unfortunately. I don't like war, so... Alright. You're crazy! But apparently it doesn't sink all the way. I don't know why. This scrolls for some odd reason. And this is a treacherous climb. Why did I... Jeez. What's with myself? got bullet spawners, and it has the bullet shooters. I don't know, I'm just willing to call them spawners because they do come out of nowhere. And I went the wrong way. Hey. Neat. All the way to the top. for some reason, making the Layer 3 disappear. Whatever that did, I don't really care about, because... the overworld does need to go back to the drawing board. We're back here, with 350 seconds, and I'm probably one of going to want to keep that fire flower in addition to the one I have right now. Looks like now we're playing older levels made a little bit difficult. And as I saw in Lunar Magic while I was trying to play this, I have to play 
what looks like many levels at once. You put the halfway point all the way over here. Whoops. I wasn't holding the Y button, so that's why I would do that. No worries here, though. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm reloading this. Must ask why I did it that early. This time, I'm probably going to wait. You know what? I'm gonna do this instead. Just to make it playable. At least the mole is immune to fireballs. That should make trouble easy to avoid. Of course, if any sprite hits him, he'll turn the other way. And now... We take on the flying. Doesn't look like the timer resets, so I'm going to fly this one quickly. While trying to be as fair as possible. I'm gonna go under the level. Under the level, but not too low as I still want to see it. There's that Kaizo Trap goal point right there. Ah, it's successful. Time still does not reset. There is an option somewhere in Lunar Magic that allows you to reset the timer. You're probably gonna want to make use of that, Crappy. Otherwise, I only have a time limit of 350 to do all the levels that you supply. Okay, so I modified this so that we can actually see what's up there. It was set to no vertical scroll. I've changed it to vertical scroll at will. It's in one of the properties menus. Same menu can be used, I believe, if I remember correctly. Actually, no, apparently I might not. Well, it can be it can be used to decide between a time limit of 
400, 300, 200, or zero. But nothing custom. That has its own menu. And this is and this is what it looks like when I've changed it from no vertical scroll to vertical scroll at will. Let's fly over this. And I don't know why I couldn't go over this part before. Clearly he should have been able to. And just like... Chocolate Ghost House. And this is probably a good place to call it off. Or to stop for now. Because that's the same boss battle from the other Ghost House. And that's insane. So see you next time.